Today I wanted to do a makeup tutorial look for you guys and I created this specifically to be worn by everyone. It's a very basic look. We just have neutral eyeshadows, um, black eyeliner that's winged out, big lashes, a nude lip. I have a new backdrop that you guys will definitely be seeing me use more often and I got it from a, a website called Society6. So if any of you are doing videos or photography or anything like that, I would definitely go check them out. They have so many different ones to choose from that are beautiful. You can even like select the theme to get an even more refined search. But for me, I wanted something that was very simple. It is from um, Samantha Ranlett. She's the artist who created it. It's called Grey Chevron. And I also have a 10% off coupon code for you guys. Kaylee Noel, my name, all in lowercase. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. First thing you want to do is use a primer on the lids. This is from MAC. It is their Painterly Paint Pot. The reason you want to use a primer before doing eyeshadows is to make sure that your eyeshadows last longer throughout the day and don't crease on you. Next, go in with the very first shadow, and this is a matte, very light brown. It is called Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. With a very soft and flexible tapered blending brush, you want to apply this starting in the middle of the eye and work your way to the inner and outer corners and then go up. So you're putting this all in the crease, but you wanna make sure that by the time you are done putting it there, it's nice and blended, which is why I say to use a fluffier blending brush for this very first shadow. The second eyeshadow you want to use is something that is warmer and also still matte. This is my favorite Makeup Geek shadow, or at least one of my favorites and most used. It's called Cocoa Bear. So what you wanna do with this is use the exact same brush you are using before. Just get a little bit of this onto the brush and again, work this into that crease to really warm things up. And also create more dimension and really enhance the shape of the eye. Before moving on with any of the next steps, make sure to blend the edges out with a clean blending brush so that it looks nice and soft. Eyeshadow number three is going to be our lid color. So this is called Yellow Brick Road. It is a shimmery, sparkly, yellow-toned gold that is great for really bringing light to the eyes and just brightening things up. All you have to do is put this right on the lid going from the middle to the inner corner and then to the outer corner and go ahead and blend it out with your fingertip. As a little trick, I love using my Laura Mercier translucent powder as a sort of like a highlighter for my brow bone. I mean, not that it has any shimmers in it, but I like to just really help to define my eyebrow a little bit more, the shape of it, and just get a nice clean edge going there on the top of my brow bone. So I put a little bit there and then brush it off. The great thing about this eyeshadow look is that it's very versatile. You could definitely use any kind of eyeliner color you like. I think brown and black is, you know, personally my favorite that I think would look best. I chose to go with black today and we are going to do a winged out effect. So to get a perfect winged eyeliner, what you have to do is first go in with a pencil liner like this one from Ofra Cosmetics and just draw in right where the lashes grow. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the whole reason behind starting with a pencil because if you start with the ink pen liner, then you could mess up and it gets very frustrating and it takes a lot longer. So just kind of do a little rough draft first with the pencil and then you can go in with your ink pen if that is what you are comfortable with using. As for me, for this tutorial, I wanted to give the Tarte Tartiest Clay Paint Liner a go. So in order in order to use this, you have to have a angle brush or some type of really thin brush that you can use to get a nice precise line going for this winged liner. I would definitely suggest to start in the middle, then work your way towards the inner corner, and then the outer corner. What you want to do is just go over that rough draft line that you had already previously made. The hardest part, I think, about this whole winged eyeliner look is really the wing at the end. That's what kind of takes a little bit of practice trying to figure out what kind of angle that you like for your 
your eyes and your certain eye shape. For me, what I like to do is just draw a line going from the outer corner of my eye and angling it up to the end of where my brow is. Of course, I don't draw it all the way up there, but you know, it just makes sure it angles up that way. And that's what helps to make my eyes look bigger and more elongated. And then you connect that back down to the line that you had previously made around the like middle of the eye. And that is it. It is really very simple. I promise you will get it eventually. It definitely gets frustrating and it takes a lot of time, but you'll get it, I promise. Anytime I ever do a winged eyeliner look, my favorite lashes to use are the Christina Lashes in number 43. You can get these on Amazon. I just, I love how glam they are and they really help to open my eyes. There's me crying. <laughs> Every time I put lashes on, I don't know why, but I always just start tearing up. The black eyeliner sometimes can take up about half of my eyelid since my eyelid's so small. And then I'm like, where did my eye go? So this just really helps to keep things looking nice and open. Be sure to blend out those edges of your eyeshadow once again, just to make sure everything's perfect. And use a mascara, this is It Cosmetics Tight Line, to blend the natural lashes in with the falsies. I truly think this is the best primer to use before foundation if you have sensitive or dry skin. It is the Bare Minerals Original Prime Time. Then go in with your favorite foundation. Mine currently is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in number seven, Cream Chamois. I apply this with the little doe foot applicator that comes with it all over my face and then I use a like powder brush or some type of brush that is super fluffy to blend out the edges of the foundation. I would highly recommend this one if you want something that is very full coverage and is going to last long, long time, last you long time <laughs> throughout the day. Concealer, this is Ofra Cosmetics Concealer from the Dermatones Color Wheel. I don't like to go crazy with concealer because honestly that foundation does a great job of covering pretty much everything. So I apply this only to the underneath of my eyes and set it with Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I, I'm actually doing a baking technique where I leave it there for a few minutes and then I wipe it off later. Going in now with a little bit of bronzer to warm things up on the face. This is It Cosmetics Sunshine in a compact, let me double check, yeah. Sunshine in a compact bronzer. Apply this very lightly to the outer corners of your face. Go ahead and wipe away that setting powder. So this is pretty cool. It's actually a water resistant blush. It's from Cargo in the shade Bali. Applying this very lightly to the cheeks. And today I'm trying out for the first time Smashbox Halo Highlighting Wand. This is in the shade Gold. This looked very pretty and kind of tied the whole entire look together as it matched very similarly to the lid shade that we used on the eyes. For the lower lash line, you can switch things up like I did here and use a brown eyeliner instead. This is from Rimmel. I applied this only to the waterline and then my tight line mascara on the lower lashes. For the nude lip, all you need to do is get a lip liner like this one. It is from Revlon Color Stay and it is called Rose. That's the shade that it's in, Rose. Line your outer lips with this first. You can go ahead and fill in the entire lip if you like so that your lipstick lasts longer. That's one thing that I love doing. And then go over with a nude lipstick. Now this can be like a pinky nude or a more nude nude like this one. It's just more neutral. This is from Urban Decay and it is called Naked 2. This is such a great lipstick. I mean, definitely one of my favorites. Very creamy and long lasting and hydrating. And lastly, go over with a nude gloss. This is by Lip Fusion. It's called the Infatuation Lipstick, or Lip Gloss, sorry. And this is in the shade In the Flesh. And that is it for this look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much, so, so, so much for watching. Please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you guys go. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.